Hello, hello, Virgos. It is AD with Cast Hero, and I'm going to be doing your December 2018 readings. Welcome, welcome back. If you're old, welcome. If you're new, we're so happy to have you here. A few quick announcements. I am going to be doing a December um, 2018 special for the holidays. So I'm going to be doing a $15 six card spread. All the information for that and how to contact me about that is going to be in the description box below. I also did this really cool, dope interview with um, a really dope guy. Um, the Peace Dealer, and so I provided the link for that below. If you'd like to, you know, see me talk about shit for two and a half hours, then, like, feel free. <laughs> it's a good time, I promise. Um, but, like, yeah, Virgos, um, just really happy to see you guys again. And I apologize in advance if this message does not resonate with you, but keep in mind that this is a general reading, so I cannot control what energies come through. So if this message does not resonate with you, please feel free to, you know, explore YouTube, find somebody who does, some somebody who's in the same vibration and frequency as you are, all right? But without any further ado, Virgos, let's get into your reading. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Oh, wow, look at this, Virgo, right off the rip, the Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. So some of you guys are going to be, you know, getting wish fulfillment when it has to do with job financial opportunities. Um, there are going to be offers, job offers for a lot of you guys for your dream jobs or just some dream projects, you know, that is going to make some financial sense. So some of you could be receiving promotions, raise, or that holiday bonus is going to be looking real nice, all right? Okay, look at this. So we have the Knight of Cups pop out. So some of you guys are definitely going to be receiving some love offers. Could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or a... Yeah, <laughs> I said Scorpio and it sounded wrong. I was like, what's a Scorpio? Okay, a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. And this could have to... This could come from your work environment, all right? Um, or just somebody that you've been um, in contact with in like a productive business type manner. Um, it could also be a Taurus fellow Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, but, but it seems like somebody wants to offer something stable with you. Obviously this could be a third party situation when you see that three there, but I'm not necessarily reading it, um, that way, but it does seem that somebody from your workforce or somebody that you've had business relations with is going to be offering you love, maybe asking you out on a date, um, or telling you how beautiful you are. Look, yeah, definitely, definitely an offer. Sorry. Definitely an offer coming in. All right. From somebody who's maybe even held back in the past, I'm getting some heavy earth energy. But it can always be any sign. Or you're an earth energy, so. All right. All right. One more shuffle like this. Yeah, a lot of you guys, and I saw this too um, with. Taurus. Some of you guys are going to be, this is somebody from the past. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have the five of Pentacles by with the 10 of cups. So some of you guys are coming out of the cold with somebody or somebody wants to come out of the cold with you. And they want to really, they see some emotional fulfillment on the horizon. So if some of you guys feel like, you know, you've really been struggling in your love category or you felt abandoned, you know, maybe even by family, if it's not necessarily love, um, there's just some, this coldness is going to be lifted. This instability is going to be moved into a 10 of pinnacles where this is family life abundance. Some of you guys is just being back home for the holidays. You know, that is really going to give you back that satisfaction of being like, I belong somewhere, especially if you've been feeling a little um, lost and kind of isolated Virgos. But for others of you, it's really somebody coming back that ha that you kind of iced. And I think you iced them. I think you were like, eh. and now they're like, hey, I want to come back. And now you're kind of being a little bit nicer to them like it will flew out <laughs> the will of fortune flew out so that's what i'm saying you're, you're choosing a different um a different mode of action than you have in the past and it absolutely could lead to a more stable relationship between you guys yeah there's some there's some communication that's going to be coming in for you guys for sure some clarity that's going to um open up Open up some new possibilities for you, Virgo. Okay, so just be prepared and be mindful of that, all right? Ah. Yeah, 
see, look. Yeah, look at this. Again, I won't explain it too much. But the Ace of Swords, which is what I was saying, this open, honest, and clarity. The Five of Wands, this conflict, moving to the Ten of Pentacles, which is super stable. So a lot of you guys are doing a whole jump. A lot of you guys are going from five to tens. You guys are going from instable places to extremely stable places, extremely um, fulfilling and happy places. And that's to shit. More power to you. That's some bomb-ass energy. Okay, Virgo? And I feel like it's happening, not necessarily, suddenly isn't the right word because you guys have been putting in the work, but that divine change, look at that, oh, the world. Okay, but that divine change that's coming about is, um, it's going to happen relatively quickly. Like, you're going to be like, man, back in November, I was a shit show. And now it's, you know, January and I'm very happy. Look at this. So at the bottom of the deck, we do in fact have judgment. So resurrection. So some of you guys are getting that second chances and granting second chances. But when you see the judgment card, this is people who, you know, these people were dead and they're coming back with Andrew Gray meals. He's like, come on, hoes. And they're like, all right, I'm I, I, captain. I'm here. You know, so it's that type of energy. So I, I think that you're some, I think that some of you are kind of acting as Angel Gabriel where people are coming to you and asking you for second chances. You're granting that. A lot of you guys are also coming to realizations and conclusions about things to, to move forward. So some of you guys are actually just releasing energy releasing negative thoughts and um um kind of self-doubt that you've had because you're realizing self-worth you're realizing how to move you you're, you've grown you're smarter and you're kind of resurrecting yourself from like this dead from that five from those five situations that instability and you're realizing that like things aren't as bad as you thought you know things aren't so horrible um around you it's kind of what i'm getting for some of you guys yeah and then look at this what a beautiful middle reading so the heart of the reading we have is the ten of cups the past is the five of swords the three of pentacles is the most likely outcome i mean i'm sorry the three of pentacles is the present moment we have the hangman as the most likely outcome could be dealing with the pisces and then we have the two of pentacles all right so there's definitely decisions that need to be made with realizations that are going to come about right so the heart of the reading we do have is emotional fulfillment and happiness with this ten of pentacles here this is family this is abundance and surrounding and just feeling you know deep 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 suited joy right so that's what all of this is leading to okay but but there's steps to it in a way right so again we here we are with the five being the stable the unstable foundation again a lot of you guys have been isolated a lot of you guys have um left certain situations with a bad taste in your mouth you've left people behind with a bad taste in your mouth i in fact feel that you virgo are this guy right here where like this person was being domineering or they were showing you sides that you didn't particularly like and maybe you were being overly critical um or maybe you were just following your gut and you were just like i'm walking away from the situation and you let it go you left it you know you left it on the stage you were just like i'm not a part of this anymore and in doing so you realize like oh shit i'm i'm pretty alone i feel super isolated i um feel like nobody's around me you know nobody understands me that type of energy but it seems like now you're working on coming out of that and coming back together and working and building teamwork with the three three of pinnacles this is cooperation this is coming together towards a common goal so some of you guys are really finding um solace in your work putting yourself into your work which virgos can do virgos can tend to be workaholics right and perfectionists you know with that desire of perfection they can get lost in their work but it seems like some of you guys are doing are doing just that but it seems to be in a positive way some of you guys are meeting people who are in the same vibration and frequency that you are and you're coming up with new ideas and how to um how to fulfill the promises that you made to yourself and the promises that you feel some of you guys have made to the world right so with this judgment for some of you guys this is people coming back this is a return um could be dealing with fellow earth signs so again taurus virgo capricorn but some of you guys are you know giving second chances to build and and cooperate all right and with this it seems like this is going to lead to a moment of the hangman where there's not going to be any movement but mostly stagnation where somebody's observing i think that you're building a team you're looking at people you're looking at people that you've allowed back and you're seeing what are exactly are they doing with this second chance okay especially if it's love offers like we saw earlier if it's love offers like i said you're entertaining it but you're seriously you know being even more critical than you are normally to see if I am in fact going to stay with this person. So you're just laying low. You you set it up. You set it up in such a way where 
you allowed people to come back into your circle because you know you didn't appreciate the isolation even though you guys are represented by the hermit you guys were kind of like i kind of want to do something new i kind of want to bring in the new year with a new attitude you know with a new crew with some new people um but there's an audition process okay and at the end of that audition process your card of advice is you know the two of pinnacles so don't rush into anything don't go head first especially if people are coming back don't be over excitable because they're really decent in december they might be ain't shit again by january so there's a level of patience and there's a level of sitting back and observing what you guys are doing but just don't jump into it because there are decisions that need to be made and balance that needs to be sought after okay but i think that you guys are coming out of a phase of that five of pentacles um that isolation that fear of not necessarily fear of being alone but feeling very alone feeling very detached from society and you guys are re-entering it but with a very critical eye you know like you go out to the club but you're sitting there you know with your drink and you're just like and people are just like oh how are you doing you're like I'm fine you know how are you I'm really curious about how you're doing it's that type of energy where you're just kind of like you're there but you're in the background <laughs> you know you're taking notes okay so that's really awesome um Virgos Really, really awesome energies coming through, especially with this Ten of Pentacles. But let's not forget the Ten of Pentacles being the heart of the reading. So this is going to lead to, like, really emotional fulfillment. But I think that you guys are really taking note on what emotionally fulfills you. How can you expect to be happy if you don't know what makes you happy, right? And so there's, there, you're taking inventory. That's kind of what I would say. You're taking inventory. You're, you're taking stock on what on the things that are surrounding you because you've come out of conflict of egos. You've come out of a period of... um overly critical and just kind of people around you who are like trying who are competing against you and you weren't necessarily competing against them um and and they might have realized that and maybe that's why they're coming back because they're just like man i don't know what it was why i was so envious or so jealous of what you had and so now i really want to be friends and you're like okay i hear you but let me see what you're actually bringing to the table. And again, if this is love offers, then there was conflict. There was some mad communication issues that happened. And now this person is returning back. And you're not so quick to say no because there is a will of fortune. There is destiny that is at work. There is change. But you guys aren't hopping head first. And again, with this two of pentacles being the card of advice, again... It's that is just weighing the pros and cons, looking at your options, being a participant in your happiness, right? But just making sure that you are actually making decisions and you're not just going in full force. But I don't see you guys doing that. I see you guys taking away the lessons that you had in the past, all right? I thought I heard somebody talking to me. 